welcome to another video on the channel. It's Ghost Revix, aka Ghost. And in this battle, oh, there's a lot of nuggets in this battle. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a good one. So, <laughs> started off with the carnage, okay. And the goal was to be aggressive, but to be careful. You know, definitely can't block one of the bigger or more prevalent weapons in the game, the shock train. I'm used to, you know, trebs and things of that nature, terrains. But tre but the shock train, you know, they can dash out, hit you, and keep it moving. And, you know, hey, ugh. anyway, we're going to keep moving in. We're moving in close, trying to get my ranges on these different bots. I see it's like three, but only one or two of them is close. And I notice they start engaging my teammate. And I'm just moving in. And I believe one moves to my left. Yeah, there they go. They move to the left, so I start to rush. And then I get, get them caught. You know, they didn't know I was coming. The other one had moved far enough away to start doing damage. Plus, they have energy, so I didn't want to run close to them. They could have really probably just stayed there and burnt me down, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure they could have. I mean, two Turans still strong enough. I think they might have been able to do it. But they moved back, decided to move back to take a, you know, a safer route. And I'm trying to check my back real quick. I knew a Hachi was, Hachi was coming that way. So I went ahead and ran out, tried to do my push against this one, not get out too far. Backed up at this point, I'm in trouble because of how she's there. And then also you have the, the little scourge weapon there, but didn't really have a shot. So now we switch over to the Lancelot or Ancelot. So here's the thing. If you notice, I'm just going to walk in a straight line. I was going to go like, you know, a B line, I guess, directly at the enemy team. But I decided to kind of walk wide instead of going directly at the bridge walk wide and see if I could get at an angle where sometimes what happens is people don't see you in what you can call your peripheral or blind spot. They don't see it. So as you see, I'm turning my bot. There's parts of the map I can't see. And actually when you're fighting against other robots, a lot of times you don't see it. And I was thinking about going underneath this area here, but I decided not to. And I went ahead and moved up, kept going up. There's no spawn area out here. So nobody's paying attention to this area, okay? Good players are always going to be looking around because this, this is what can happen. Here we go. I look over. This robot does not know I'm there. Get some shots in on They actually were able to try to figure out, like, where is that coming from? And they, they dash out of the way just in time before I could take them out. And then this other bot, so I, I start moving down. This bot, you can tell they don't see me. Boom. They only turn around the last minute. Okay. And then somebody's going to drop down behind me. I think it's somebody either on top of the, they had to be on top of the, the the structure, right? Because, okay, there's somebody there. I see somebody there. I have this bot here. I'm just kind of moving over. And then I'm getting hit. So I don't know what it was that was hitting me. But what I did was I moved to my left to pretty much put my back against the structure. Continue to fire on this rhino. I was expecting the bot that was hitting me to basically come around the side and start attacking. But... They decide to retreat. Okay, so you can do that. That's I mentioned that before, but I've never been able to really show it to you. But definitely using structures to protect yourself while you're attacking another robot to force anybody that's coming at you to have to come around that structure and still get you while you can take out the other bot. So here we go. I have two of these jokers, and I'm trying to back up. I mean, that's that's all I really can do. It's a total of three Orkins, and they have a storm, so there's not a whole lot I can do at this point. Okay, just back up and do as much damage as possible and then we go down so now we go to our next bot so this time i want to get in quick so i move over this guy I look over and i see that there's a long range looks like a natasha out there so my goal is to get over to cover as quickly as possible so here we go we're going to try and dash before they can hit me boom 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 we get across and so now I'm going to go through this little opening here because I want to keep that kind of flanking thing. But I also got to watch out for the Natasha. Make sure they don't have an angle on me from outside of this building because I do it all the time. I'll sit outside this building and just tattoo people because I, they lose track of long range. OK, so here we go. There's somebody right here by this wall. So I'm going to cut loose. But remember, this is a heavy bot. When you take on a Griffin with just two orchids, you could take them out. But it, it's a heavy bot. And two. You have a, you don't know what you're dealing with all the time again. You have MK2 bots, you have MK2 weapons. I mean, you just, you just got a lot of stuff, man, that you may not even realize what you're dealing with. So here we are trying to take this bot out and not get roasted by this. What is that? That was a spider, right? A Fujin did not want to get roasted by the Fujin with the Punisher. Just cut loose. 
And so we're just, somebody actually took out that one bot. So I'm just looking on teams attacking. And I believe I'm gonna try and attack. Boom, I go ahead and get it, jump in as quick as possible. As you can see, they just shredded me, man. Just shredded. And then I got tattooed by the Inquisitor. <laughs> Inquisitor was like, yo, son, put it down. Put it down, kid. Now we look, and I remember that Natasha. So what I'm going to do, the Natasha, this is not the Natasha, I don't believe. This is, oh, this is Natasha. This is it. This is her. Now look what I'm doing. I'm trying to go wide. It may seem like, no, nah, that don't make a difference. I promise you, man. Your camera, you can't see to your left and right unless you turn left and right. So I'm just trying to go as wide as I can and keep moving closer and closer. And right here, I'm in range, but by the time they turn around, it's too late. So, right, I didn't fire. I didn't want to give them an early warning so they can start moving away. The goal was wait till the last minute and then go, you know, unload on them. And so it actually worked out. So that's why I tell you, when you see another robot and maybe they're not looking at you, go, go wide, right? Go wide. Try and get in their blind spot. So here we go. Now, this is not a matchup I really want. A lance with the, 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 with the, uh, the thunder you don't want. So and then they're hitting me. So of course they have the Talumbas on. So look at my look at my energy shield just gone. And they did damage to me. So now it's like, okay, I gotta take this dude on. What am I do? How am I do it? What I need to do. So here we go, trying to get ourselves together. I need to try and corner shoot, but then I see electricity hitting like, okay. Somebody behind me is actually firing at him. And of course, it's so kicked off again. So I have a teammate behind me. I don't exactly know what they have at this point. And so I'm just going to keep trying to take little pop shots in when I can, not get out there too much. My shield has come back a lot. And so now we turn around and see who's with us. Oh, we got a Fury, baby. We got a Fury, a Zeus Fury. So we're good, baby. So I'm pretty sure they broke that shield. So here we go. Let's see. Boom. Look at that. Taking damage. Just taking complete damage. So now I'm going to go wide. I'm not going to keep getting close, right? Because they still had the Thunder. They still had the Talumbas. And then we see the, the Hashi dropping back there. So I'm still trying to damage this bot. I don't want to get too close. I want to kind of keep going wide. Get them out as quickly as possible because I know that Dash is going to try and rush me as quickly as I can. So here we go. We start moving. I've already wasted most of my weapons to take out that Lance. The Dash is moving in. Then I have this, I guess that's a hover bot back there. Yeah, it was a hover bot with the storm cutting loose. And so now we bring out our Dash, okay? And my goal is to get over as quick as I can to my teammate to make sure they don't just get roasted because I know they're pretty much a sitting duck. So I fire too much. I really fired too much on that one. I fired almost a full salvo right there. I didn't know if we hit this. I knew we hit this this hover bot. Now I'm just going to keep moving, trying to keep them behind this little wall so they don't just come running out. Then I see my teammate from the left starts unloading on them. So I go to the outside, try and get this hover. Uh, we did take the hover. Actually, somebody, I think somebody did finally take the hover. Yeah, I just seen him fall. Now we're trying to take out this Hashi, get him out the way before he gets my other teammate. I think my teammate switched out to this Galahad. So now I'm just trying to play on this wall. And I'm like, okay, who's hitting me? But it's my teammate, right? So here we go. Now we're going to try and corner shoot a little bit. One can outside and just cut loose, get it lined up. Boom, we start hitting him right there. That's where we hit him. And then my team's already firing into that spot as well. So there's not a whole lot they could do. The goal is just to keep, you know, keep my body alive, keep from getting as much damage as possible. Now I see the Galahads move to the outside. So now I'm gonna move in. Gotta watch out for that. No energy. This thing I I play it kind of in my mind like a carnage because of the energy. Now we're gonna try and get in close to whatever this is and watch out for my man here. So I need to get out, get out of the open, okay? Because that redeemer. And the uh, Tehran is going to do a lot of damage. I have a teammate to my right, which is good. It looks like I have another teammate out here. So the Galahad is moving up. So I'm just going to kind of fire across the bow, so to speak, to try and just put the get rid of this bot here and just keep myself from just getting out in the open. Because sometimes you'll jump out in the open because they're firing at one robot. And you're like, okay, they're going after that robot, not realizing that your health is about gone. And they might just switch to you real quick to get you out the way. So here we go keep myself but i didn't want to go out too far because you can see the laser kicked in almost immediately they only have five seconds on their stealth boom is off we start cutting loose somebody else actually took them out as well so teammates over here luckily got the lance to my right hand side i think i got another teammate that's starting to flank them from the back side over there so we go ahead and try and rush in try and cut across like the outside 
trying to fire the outside and get that bot out the way. They finally take him out the way. Now we have one bot to take down. Uh, pretty much, we're just moving in like we're, we're the 300 at this point, man. So, man, this was this was like one of those your team shows up like, okie dokie, the team with me, baby, team with me. So, yeah, man, this was a good one. This was I didn't know everybody was going to show up. <laughs> so, anyway. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, smack that like button. Want to see more videos like this? Subscribe. Bell notification so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. And as always, choose like over death.